Hey everyone, it's Leandra at the Kentucky facility for New Vocations Racehorse Adoption Program. Today for our trainer tip, I have Adriatic Holiday with me here. And we're gonna talk about what is, I guess, more like a public service announcement. Because one of the things that we have lots of firsthand experience with here is working with our vets. Our vet comes out literally every single week and sometimes we have specialty vets who we work with depending on the different situations. But one of the things that we notice occasionally is that we get questions, whether it be from previous adopters or people who reach out to us. And we always wanna stress the importance of talking to your vet about things. So as a great example, Adrian here, we had seen by the vet because she was a little bit off. She had a lameness that was evident and it seemed like it was coming from her ankle or her foot, but she wasn't really positive to hoof testers, a little bit, but not much. And whereas it might have been easy to write it off as foot soreness and not address it, when the vet looked at it, they blocked it. And if you're not familiar with blocking, it's basically a, a isolated nerve block so if you blocked an area, say they blocked the ankle and then the lameness disappears, then that indicates that that ankle might have been the localized source of pain. So they work through blocks going up the leg and in this sort of situation. And in her case, her lameness was blocked to her coffin joint. So she had a coffin joint injection, which includes the hyaluronic acid, a, a joint space buffer, and uh, an anti-inflammatory, a steroid. So that helped to eliminate her lameness. So when it was blocked, it blocked to the coffin joint, and then the injection helped to eliminate her pain. Now, if you've heard of joint injections, let's also say that when we do something like that, it's not because we're trying to mask anything or ideally it is not a situation where a horse ever requires that kind of maintenance. But it's like if you were going to, say you had golfer's elbow and you had a cortisone injection. <laughs> She agrees <laughs> that the idea is to help your body eliminate the inflammation so that it can move forward and kind of clear the uh, what might otherwise stay as residual. So you're kind of starting with a clean slate and helping them move forward and then providing a little joint buffer. So all of that to say, it is so important to talk to your vet when you're experiencing any sort of prolonged discomfort with your horse. You know, you, there are lots of things that you can do at home uh, which are cost effective and can help you get a sense of what is wrong, but there's nothing that can replace talking to your vet and letting them work through diagnostics so that you can really get to the bottom of what is bothering your horse. Because without that, you know, you might just be shooting in the dark and in the long run, it always pays off to really get an answer so that you can address it most effectively for your own sake and for your horses. So that is our little PSA of the week for this Trainer Tip Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us and look out for Adrian in the future. She's looking really, really good now and we hope to be able to show you a little bit more training soon. Thanks everyone.